All right, so let me quickly show you again. Now this is going to look like a mess, but if you're actually doing this with the items in hand, it'll make sense. Uh, red goes to your LED positive. Black goes to your LED negative. White goes to your, your dimming control, your pot or your, your apex controller dimming negative. Blue goes to your dimming positive. Okay, Pretty simple stuff. So let me give you a quick verbal explanation. So your red LED positive goes to your LED's first positive connection. And then it goes out the negative to the next LED's positive. So it goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way along until you come back to the driver's negative, okay? Now, for the first application, I'm going to do something a little different. I want to test the current that's coming out of my driver. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the red from the LED positive and I'm going to disconnect it from my wire that goes to my first LED's positive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my multimeter, I'm going to connect my positive onto my red here, okay? So I got my positive onto the red for my multimeter, and my multimeter negative is going to go to the connection that goes to my positive first LED, my first LED positive, okay? So now my multimeter is connected in line with the positive from the driver to the first positive on the LED. Now what will happen is when I turn this on I will be able to see the current that this driver is running at. Um, I'm going to want it maximum uh, probably 900 and these drivers can go up to 13, 1400 that's too high. You know you're going to burn your LEDs out way too quick or even burn them out in an instant. So maximum you want is 900 so when your potentiometer or your dimming control is at tops that's as high as it's going to get. It's kind of like an added safety feature. The other thing that needs to be done here now this is going to be interesting and I'll show you is you have to unscrew this lid so let me quickly do that and then I'll show you what we're going to be looking at. Alright so quickly now let's kind of show this thing working. I've got everything hooked up. LEDs, multimeter in line, uh, potentiometer, the wall wart going to the potentiometer. So let, let's uh, let's start her up. I got it all plugged in. Um, I've got my pot set to, to zero which is fine. Um, I'm going to start turning her up here. Alright, so she's working. She's working. It's alive. It's alive. Okay. So this I know this pot will go up to 95, uh, one being a thousand uh, MA. Right now it's at 870, even though it says 0 0.87. That's just the way the multimeter reads this kind of current. Um, if I want to go up, I just simply turn. The, the nylon screw to the right very slightly and you see oh it goes high too high you don't really want to exceed 1000 in fact I like to keep my uh, my drivers driving at maximum around 9 900 and then I usually keep my my LEDs dim just a wee little bit um, on my tank I got them down to 40 percent so if I set them at 900 they're running 450 MA ish which is half of what they're capable half of what the drivers capable of the LEDs themselves don't like to be run past mm, thousand no then they burn out pretty quick so there it is that's it working that's it up yeah, I'll leave a point eight six let's get a little higher whoa too high It's not an easy screw to maneuver. There we go, 0.89, good enough. Good enough for the people I hang out with. Dim her down. Turn her off. Bam. Works. Now put everything back together 
and I'll put it in the fixture and I'll show you what it looks like once I get that done.